Welcome back to Getting Started with Figma. In the previous video, we learned the basics of components and created a button component from a rounded rectangle and a text layer. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use styles to save and reuse properties throughout your designs. Conceptually, styles function similarly to components. We'll create a master style to define the properties first and then use that style throughout our designs. When the master style is edited, it will update wherever it is used in your files. In this example, we have the button component we created in the previous video, but we also have some other components and layers. Each of these have something in common. They use the same color. It's common to have a system of components that use the same brand colors, typography, effects, and more. Styles can help you keep your brand consistent by preventing deviation from approved brand guidelines or your company's design system. But when you want to experiment or explore other options, like trying a new primary brand color, it would be time consuming to edit each element using that color individually. Changing the color of our button's background won't affect the other elements using that color, but with styles, it can. With a background layer of our button selected, we can click the quadruple dot icon in the properties panel next to the fill property to open the styles menu. Local styles are styles created within this file. They will appear at the top of this menu. Below that are styles from your enabled team libraries. We don't have any local styles yet, but we can create one by clicking the plus icon, naming it, and clicking create style. Now our new local style appears in the menu and is applied to the fill property in the properties panel. The type of style that we created is a color style. Color styles can be applied to the fill, stroke, and background properties. You can also create styles for text, effects, and layout grids. Let's apply the same color style to the stroke of our secondary button component by clicking the style icon and choosing it from the menu. Let's do the same for the fill color of the button label text and our star rating component. The rectangle at the bottom of the screen is using the same color value, but we won't apply the color style to this layer. If we deselect everything by clicking on the canvas, we can see our local styles in the right side panel. If you hover over a style, you can see another icon appear, which allows you to edit the style. As we change the color of our style, you can see that all layers where that style is in use reflect the changes and are updated in real time. Even though the rectangle at the bottom of the screen had the same color value applied to its fill, it isn't affected when we edit the style since we didn't actually apply the style to it. Using styles allows you to quickly experiment with alternatives throughout your entire design file. They can also help you keep your brand consistent by making it easier for designers to know which colors and textiles are pre-approved. Publishing our styles to our team library lets anyone on our team access the styles across our files. When a new designer joins the team, they'll immediately have access to those styles on day one. In the next video, we'll show you how to publish your styles and components to your team library. But if you want to learn more about styles, check out the article on our help center in the description box below. Thanks for watching.